and so still in your thoughts that's so the police still firing shots still firing shots still firing shots at the demonstrating crowd the police are still firing as individuals are still throwing stones throwing stones at the police they are insisting on using the ring road stretch through to the presidency and the police are refusing to allow them through which has resulted in the firing of tear gas and the use of water cannon trucks on or against the demonstrators that's the current situation uh, at the a brass spot here in Accra, the police in their numbers, as you can see in the shot, they have formed a barricade. They are insisting against allowing the demonstrators through. Those are the police officers in your shot. You can hear the firing of uh, tear gas against the demonstrating crowd who are throwing stones. That's the picture for you. That's the picture. Currently, at the brass spot here, I have on my own suffered uh, tear gas inhalation. My eyes are burning under legs, and the police continues to fire tear gas. They continue to fire tear gas aimed at dispersing the crowd, aimed at dispersing the crowd. That's the current situation here at the brass spot. It's, it's turned rowdy. It's turned chaotic almost in the uh as the arise ghana on their two-day protest this is just day one this is just day one this is just day one of their protest this is just day one of arise ghana's protest this is just day one they are insisting on using the ring road stretch of the uh ring road stretch headed towards the ministries the police have refused to allow them use that stretch and now there's a firing of tear gas they are blocking the road the first overpass before getting to the recently constructed uh Kwame Nkrumah circle interchange and so that's the current situation I'm currently unable to get so close because there will be the firing of tear gas and the police can decide to take some action one way or form and so that's the current situation here at the Nkrumah circle